Looks like somebody's up for promotion. <laughs> so this is Legacy Wreck and Roll Collection Prime Universe Bulkhead. And when I reviewed him, I said I had some big plans for this guy. And that's because I am going to be changing him into a version of Optimus Prime. Stick with me on this. We have these stickers right here, which are going to turn him into a variation of General Optimus Prime from Generation 2. If you don't know who that is, that's okay. It was an unreleased version of Optimus Prime from the Generation 2 line, uh, pictured right here. No, not that one, though that's a cool version as well. There we go. He was a repaint of one of the auto rollers and obviously doesn't share the same alt mode, but I've seen pictures of this thing set up with all these stickers and I think I am going to be very happy with this change and I bet all of you are gonna think it looks pretty darn cool too. So, give me a moment, I'm gonna get these on there and you're going to see what this looks like. And here he is all stickered up and looking good. So yeah, I am so pleased with how this came out. One of the most striking details here is how the stickers completely changed the look of the head. Very, very cool. Now I did add some things myself. Uh, they originally had a neon green regular Autobot symbol. I added a G2 Autobot symbol here and here and a couple others that you'll see in a little bit. But yeah, for the most part, I just sort of followed the instructions and figured out where everything went because there were some stickers that didn't have clear instructions on where they went but I did my best. And I think this came out pretty cool. I think the hardest part though was this thing. They've converted the Wrecking Ball into a version of the Matrix. And that was a lot of work. <laughs> but now let's take a look at him in vehicle mode. And there's the vehicle mode. And as you can see, I didn't forget the fuel cans this time. And I just absolutely love how this mode came out. I am very pleased with how this came up. One of the big changes I made here was I added the G2 Autobot symbols on the back, kind of like the uh, trailer stickers on the original Prime. Absolutely love these clear stickers here that say US Army. Uh, I was worried they weren't gonna look very good, but even on camera, they don't look like clear stickers. Very, very cool. And this just, overall, it feels like a different toy. And that's the amazing thing with these Toy Hacks labels. Now, there was something else I wanted to do with this guy. I gave him some new weapons, just like I did with my G2 Ramjet. And I am so pleased with how these came out. These weapons call back to his various G2 forms. The cannons back here are actually based off of the ones from the original G2 Optimus Prime that went on his trailer. You can even flip them over his shoulder like that, or you can make them handheld or put them in any of the five millimeter ports. And then this sword is based off of the one he had as Laser Rod Optimus Prime. And the idea here is that maybe it's being projected from the Matrix. I just absolutely love how these came out and I am so pleased with it. And if you're wondering where all the weapons went in vehicle mode, here's your answer. Sword can just sort of stow away back here and the cannons can attach to the Gatling gun here and be set up like this. Very, very cool. This has been such a fun project and I am so glad that I did it and that I was able to share it with all of you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see all of you the next time you invade my shell space. <laughs>